clinging to a 21-16 lead in the fourth when Wes Dolan stepped in front of Jack Flaherty's pass on third down. The Britons used the break on the next play. Dominic Bona finds Brian Spencer in the back of the end zone. Extends the lead to 28-16. Central marched to the Albion 25 on its next possession, but Dolan extinguished the threat with an interception along the sideline. The defense would make another stop as Dylan Irvin sacks the quarterback on fourth down, turns the ball over to the offense, and Clinton Orr completes the scoring with a 40-yard run. Orr scored four times and rolled up 208 all-purpose yards. Head coach Craig Rundle said he was pleased with the way the Britons responded after Central scored twice early in the fourth quarter. I think last last week's experience of uh, you know giving up a lead late in the game and and losing the game I think helped uh, you know this week we we're kind of faced with the same circumstances uh, you know late in the game there where they they scored and, and we're starting to cl uh, close the gap a little bit and uh, I was proud of our guys I think we responded well fortunately they learned a little bit last week that helped this week I think Dominic Bono for his you know first start in a college football game. Uh, you know, did well. Uh, you know, I think he asked. He did all the things we asked him to do. Uh, and we told him going into it, he wasn't going to have to win the game. Uh, you know, he had a lot of. We got a lot of playmakers, and he just has to do a good job of, you know, getting it to the guys when he needs to and, and make good decisions. I think he made good decisions, and you know, he made a couple plays uh, where he got out of the pocket and uh, found guys downfield. And that's one of the things he does, you know, extremely well. Yeah, I think defensively we made plays when we had to. I wasn't, uh, I don't think, you know, one of our better performances, you know, defensively. But I think Central's a, a physical team and they ran the ball well. Uh, but, you know, I think coming up with the turnovers when we did was, was big. Yeah, I think the, the bye weeks uh, timed well for us. Uh, I always like having a bye, uh, you know, right before you start the league games so you can kind of, it's almost like you're starting a second season. And, and uh, you know, we can get some guys healthy that need a little bit of rest, uh, but also some of the young guys get them a little bit more experience. Uh, you know, in particular with Dominic, you know, bowing at quarterback, it gives us another week to, you know, to get him ready and more comfortable with what things are going to happen in, once the league st season starts up. I think we've played, uh, you know, well uh, in, in our non-league portion of the season. Uh, uh, I, I think, you know, we probably exceeded a lot of people's expectations where we're going to be, but. Uh, our expectations, uh, you know, we had pretty high ones going into it. So.